tip, we'll be looking at port bras port bras translates to carriage of the arms. Our arms in dance, and especially in ballet, really create the texture of our movement. Also, audiences usually are looking at your upper body when they come to see dance. So it's really important that we practice our port bras with our head and our breath. To help me demonstrate this tip today, I have Ella and Catherine. We're going to start with actual positions of the arms. So these are more static, stationary positions of the arms that you'll use in your port de bras later. So we'll start all together in our preparatory pose with our arms. Preparatory, also known as en bas, is just in front of you. Now often, we wear tutus in ballet, so we don't want our hands all the way touching our thighs. Rather, let them float out in front of you, keeping your shoulder blades down your back and your chest lifted. From preparatory, you can lift your arms to a first position. Often, we tell younger dancers to imagine that they're holding a big beach ball in first position, so that it's not too close and crumpled, but it's also not too far away, reaching away from their center. From first position, just open your elbows and the base of your arm to second. Second position is one that you see often, especially in training. In second position, we have a tendency to let our elbows droop. This elbow droop really is coming from our ribs. When your ribs open, your back has to collapse backwards. So keeping your back strong and your ribs softly closed is important for your second position. Notice also that the arm slightly descends as you go to the fingers. I had a teacher tell me when I was younger that if a raindrop hit your shoulder, it should be able to come all the way down off of your fingers. From second position, we go to third. Third is one arm in first, one arm in second. You'll see this position a lot when dancers are running through space. From third, there's fourth position. If you have one arm up overhead, one arm in your first, you'll see this position in some point work and also in turns like pirouettes. And then finally, fifth position, both arms up over your head. In fifth position, there's another tendency to open your ribs. So we want to practice our proper alignment closing our ribs, letting our back be broad and our neck long. So now we'll use most of those positions in a port de bras combination. This combination will be made up of demi port de bras and first port de bras. You can do these port de bras both en dehors and en dedans. So starting in our preparatory position, we'll take a little breath. Breath to prepare seven and eight, drawing up through first, opening second for your demi port de bras, lifting through an allongé breath, and down. Let's do that again. First, opening second, keeping support underneath your arms, and down. And then we'll reverse that. So you'll open through second, close into first, and follow your hands down, and open, and close, and follow down. Now we'll make the port de bras a little bit bigger into a first port de bras. Again with a preparation, preparing seven and eight through your first, up overhead to fifth, now opening through your fingertips to second, through allongé and down. We'll do that again through first, up through fifth, opening and reversing that port de bras through your second, closing into your fifth, straight down through your center, and down. And again, opening to your second, closing to fifth, through your first, and down. So you can probably tell that your back just did a lot of work. So port de bras even though it's a carriage of the arms, it's also a carriage of your back.
Great Mats is a national flooring retailer. Contact Great Mats for free samples, free design help, and live customer service today. If you like what you've seen here, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow Great Mats on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Twitter.